Ducati's rider, Ania Bastianini wins the 2024 Thailand MotoGP sprint race as Jorge Martin beats pole qualifier Peko Banyaya to extend his world championship lead. Starting behind the factory Ducatis, Martin outlaunched Bastianini off the line, then dived under Banyaya at turn 1, but both were sent wide on the exit. Bastia was thus handed the early lead from Marquez, Banyaya, and Pedro Acosta, with Martin down to fifth. The Pranac rider fought back through the field to reach second but could do nothing about Bastianini and spent the closing stages under pressure from Banyaya. Marc Marquez rode to a lonely fourth while Acosta crashed from fifth place at the turn three hairpin. Acosta's exit contributed to the eight Ducati riders filling the top eight. The hard front and medium rear were the popular tire choice. The exceptions were Joan Mir, hard rear, plus the VR46 Ducatis, Alex Marquez and Alix Espargaro, soft front. Due to the added heat and stress placed on the tires, Durham is among the venues where Michelin selects its stiffer construction rears. Revised tire pressure rules for 2024 mean riders must stay above a lower front minimum of 1.8 bar, instead of 1.88, for 60%, instead of 50%, of a Grand Prix distance, or 30% of a sprint. The punishment for failing to meet the minimum in a Grand Prix is a 16-second post-race time penalty, or an 8-second penalty for a sprint-slash-short race. MotoGP title leader Jorge Martin pulled several impressive stop pies into pit lane on his way to second place in Friday practice for the Thai Grand Prix. But Jack Miller rose to the challenge, prompting a thumbs-up from Martin as the Australian passed the Pramac rider with his KTM standing almost vertically on its nose at the end of the session. I saw Martin doing his, so I thought I had to hold my own. It'd be nice to beat him on the track and not in a stop pie competition. Miller smiled afterwards. The Australian had been ahead of Martin, in fifth, as the time attacks began. But while Martin moved upwards on fresh rubber, a frustrated Miller slipped to 13th, missing out on the top 10 in direct qualifying 2 access by just 0.155 s. It's the story of the last six months, Miller said. The pace was good, consistently there on the medium tire at the beginning of the session. Put some laps on it, felt comfortable. My first two time attacks were good but with the last one I just wasn't able to get it together. Far too many moments. Especially in the middle part of the track. I'm just losing the front at turn 5. Which is then continuing through turn 6, turn 7. And then again at turn 8. Every time I try and push, I'm really struggling to finish the corner. Having to try and rely on turning the thing with the rear tire on a hot lap to get it rotate mid-corner. So we'll try and play with that overnight and hopefully come back with a better solution for tomorrow. The pace is strong, but the most important thing as we know in MotoGP these days is to get a decent qualifying position and we're going the long way around yet again. Now in the final stages of his factory KTM career, Miller feels he has made some headway in recent rounds. Just trying to ride around the issues that I'm having. The other two, Brad Binder and Pedro Acosta, are on the new chassis and we're not. So we're just trying to do the best with what we got. So I'm working on my riding, really trying to focus on how I can move with my body and absorb the bumps and try not to make it an issue. We'll continue pushing to the very end. The good news for the number 43 is that the extreme chatter caught on camera at Motegi has not been a factor so far at Bureram. Tiny a little bit in turn 4. But not too bad, he said. Prior to his crowd-pleasing stop pie in the afternoon, Miller had entertained the crowd with a rolling burnout on the main straight by keeping the throttle open after his practice start went wrong in the morning. We just wanted to try the 110, whole shot, device. I'm not a big fan of the 110 device honestly, as soon as you put the bike down that low on the front the rear starts spinning almost immediately, Miller explained. I took off gently, but as soon as I kind of let the clutch out, the rear tire lit up. And then I just carried it on for the fans, I knew I wasn't using that one again. Last year at Bureram, Marc Marquez explained that he was leaving Repsol Honda for Grazini Ducati because he didn't want to finish his MotoGP career with any regrets. The most important thing is that when I retire, I don't have any doubts about my decisions, Marquez had said in an interview with Crash.net. Speaking towards the end of a second winless season at Honda, Marquez had also endured further right arm operations plus other injuries as he pushed an uncompetitive RCV over its limit.
But the gamble of walking away from his big money factory Honda contract to ride a year old Desmosetta Sai has paid off handsomely. The eight time world champion returns to Thailand victorious in three of the last six GPs, is behind only Jorge Martin and Francesco Bagnaia in the world championship, and has a factory Ducati seat for 2025. Given his MotoGP rejuvenation, which continued with P1 during Friday practice at Bururam, the media crash.net asked Marquez if he regretted not leaving Honda sooner. No, no. Because with Honda we achieved a lot and I feel part of Honda, Marquez replied. Still, right now I'm riding a Ducati and next year I will be a factory Ducati rider. Of course, I will try to defend Ducati colors. But Honda has been and will be a very important part of my career, or maybe the most important part, you never know. But I was saying when I was in Honda, because sometimes, people, said, Honda is Honda, he is winning for the Honda. But, there were other Hondas. Marquez dominated the 2018 and 2019 seasons, then took his final three Honda wins between arm surgeries in 2021. Meanwhile, no other RCV riders won from Cal Crutchlow in 2018 until Alex Rins in 2023. If you are a good rider, if you go to Honda and say, I don't care about the money, just I want to ride, your, best bike, they will give to you, their, best bike if you are a good rider, Marquez continued. So in this case I did the opposite. I go to Ducati and I said, I don't care about anything. I just want to ride the best bike. Even if that bike is a year-old machine, run by a satellite team. Now in the future when I will retire, I will be quiet about myself because I tried everything, Marquez said. Of course, when you do that kind of move, to Ducati, you put a lot of pressure on yourself and there can be a lot of negative comments if you don't achieve what you want. But I already achieved what I wanted. The target was to try to be longer in my career and try to feel competitive again. Then, if I win another title, this will be something in another hand. But my main goal is already done. <laughs> On the other hand, Casey Stoner will briefly return to racing for a charity event. The MotoGP legend will take part in an event dubbed the Champions Charity Race next month. EICMA, which describes itself as the most important trade fair event for the entire two-wheel sector, is hosting the event. Fellow writers in action will reportedly be Danilo Petrucci, Jonathan Ray, Stefan Everts, Troy Bayliss, Loris Caparasi, Christophe Porcel, Randy Mamola, Carlos Checa, Marco Melandri, according to Corsetti Moto. A statement from the organizers confirmed, a new challenge not to be missed. This year, from November 7 to 10, the MotoLive track will host an epic race that will put the greatest champions on the track and off-road in spectacular chase duels. Every day from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., the flat track will be the battleground between legends of the past and champions of today from World Superbikes and Africa Eco Race. As always, specialty off-road bikes will be the star, but this year the main stage will be all about adventure bikes, with over 20 models of all cylinders and all brands. And as icing on the cake, the return of the legendary Casey Stoner, who after 12 years comes back to race at EACMA. You can't miss it, thanks to 54 iridescent titles on the track it will be a historic event.